Hello, my name is Karen, and this is my application video process for the Ringling College of Art and Design 2021 Computer Animation Program. I was lucky enough to have documented my entire process from start to finish of applying for the program all the way back in like October, I think. But yeah, I just thought it would be a cool thing to sort of post my perspective on applying. This is just my experience raw in the moment and how I was honestly feeling. So if you're into that, here we go. Welcome to me sitting in the middle of my car like a crack ass. So I have to take off in about a couple minutes to pick up the Chipotle, but I wanted to share what I consider currently to be a bit of a big life event for me in the meantime. I just finished a portfolio review with the Columbus College of Art and Design. I'm in this purgatory right now, freshly, like legitimately coming out of the review 30 minutes ago of being like, fuck yeah, this is so fucking great. But then at the other time I'm like, Oh, but it's not that impressive. She literally said, they don't even fucking care about any of the realism shit I did. That fucking paper bag that I slaved away over for like four hours in my sophomore year, they don't give a shit about that. Like I literally walked out of the review with her basically saying, what you have is honestly good enough already. So I have that shit in the bag. Now it's time to focus on wrangling, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to get my hopes up, but ultimately that's going to be the school with more opportunities, even if it's going to be fucking expensive. What's the long term? What am I getting out of it? Is what Ringling has to offer gonna be better for me in the long term? I don't know. I just, I, I don't fucking know. I'm like, but that's kind of where I sit mentally. We still have a couple weeks left, baby. Hardest major to get into, no fucking shot, but we're gonna give it a try anyway um and see what happens. I feel really horrible about it. I feel like I'm absolutely not getting in. I feel like there's no shot. But at the same time, I fucking know there is. And that's why I'm working. But I have a shot. Hello? It is 10... Oh, shit. It's 1.05 a.m. I'm freaking the fuck out. I've been procrastinating doing the last piece. I'll slap up an image of it if I feel like it or if I even finish it. At this point, I've been thinking about my portfolio a lot and I've more been thinking about the excuses I've been making. If even the maximum pressure of a college portfolio isn't enough to push me to work, then I don't know what is. Starting something doesn't come from an outside force pushing you, it comes from within and your own drive to make things happen. I, mentally, I feel okay because I feel like I'm good enough to get into the school itself. The motion design professor really liked me and my portfolio, and I think that would be an excellent program to get into even if I don't get accepted into 3D animation. I think my um, chances of getting accepted into 3D animation are slim to none, <laughs> but I'm applying anyway just because it's going to be my only opportunity. If I could get the opportunity to go into the animation industry at any point in my life, there's no point in waiting. I need to start and I need to go for the thing I want initially. And this is something I've wanted for so long. So why quit now? I don't know where this passion is going to lead me or what path I'm going down. But either way, if I'm creating things that are interesting and I'm passionate about, I would be happy. I don't know what kind of person I'm gonna be or if I'm gonna have some rags to riches story 10 years from now, or if it's gonna be a fuck you and I'm gonna be living out of a dumpster. That's kind of the vibe for today. I'm going to bed now. I got some schoolwork to do tomorrow and some last minute shit to finish up for my portfolio and then we'll see what happens. See ya. Man, I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm submitting my portfolio simply because I absolutely have no extra time later. Like I can't sleep knowing that it's not submitted. I feel really shitty about it. I feel angry because I know I didn't give it my all and I feel like I didn't prioritize my application. I just wanted to film myself hitting the submit button because I thought it was kind of a cool moment. So let's take a look-see. 
You see that shit? I fucking hate this common app so much. So this is all the work. They get to be the ones to decide if it's a load of bullshit or not. I just think it's horrendous. <laughs> like, the more I look at it, the more I just like want to cry. You know what I'm saying? Next button. Computer animation 2021. That, like, in my mind is like a joke. Like me being in computer animation for 2021. I did the payment. I did everything. And my application will officially be in, in three, two, one. Oh my God. You've successfully submitted your first year application to Wrangling College of Art and Design. What happens when you hit celebrate? <laughs> oh shit, man. I feel fucking brilliant. I can't decide if like, there's a tremendous weight, like a hole caving into my soul of the fact that this is set in stone and there's nothing I could change about it now even if I wanted to or if it's a huge weight off my shoulders that I don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm leaning more towards the latter. Wow. I don't know. I don't even have anything to say. I'm just emotionally drained at this point. But I'll get back to you with another video, seriously, um, when I get my letter and we'll open it and we'll see the look on my face of rejection. And I think I'm gonna try to keep myself locked in that headspace of rejection, rejection, rejection. I'm gonna get rejected and I'm not gonna get to go to the school and it's gonna be shit. This the mentality. I don't know, man. We'll see. Update. It's 2.20 p.m. and I ate some raspberries and I feel so much fucking better. Okay, I gotta go, bye. So as you can tell by that last clip, I did not give two shits. It actually turned out to be a very lengthy process. <laughs> so I attempted to apply for early application, but basically I go to a career tech high school, which is different from a regular high school. And there was this whole issue with my transcripts getting completely fucked because I put my uh, technical high school down as my regular high school even though I'm technically still graduating from my regular high school and I needed to get my transcripts from them. And it's kind of a bunch of bullshit and I'm not gonna really explain the details, but here is a clip of me getting memed because I literally thought I was being given a rejection letter telling me that I wasn't eligible for early application and they just didn't wanna see any of it anymore. The past couple days have been a ride, let me just say that much, so. And this was all over just the past two days. So, with all that in mind, I want to open this and try to find out what it is. Dear Corinne, we are pleased to receive your application. It's on May 1st. I received a confirmation email. I feel like I've been pranked. So after the heat had subsided from my whole transcript fiasco and I got it kind of taken care of, I sort of just let the application go and I stopped thinking about it all the time and I was just kind of living my life, you know, living senior year for the last couple months and I developed some other opportunities, let's say, outside of Wrangling. I got an internship that I'm at right now and I'm absolutely loving it. It's more video editing related than animation, but it's still super cool. And I was so in the moment and just sort of vibing with everything going on around me that I was completely caught off guard when I got a little package in the mail on St. Patrick's Day. I don't think I should explain it. I think it's easier if I just show you. I... My dad walked home and he slapped this shit down on the kitchen table. There's a picture that my mom took of me 
That face is my genuine reaction. I was so lost. But in all seriousness, it's actually a really fucking lovely package. It says open here. You open it up, it says congrats, and then they like try to get you to share it on social media. But there's like this whole fucking thing and there's like, they give you a little bit, a sketchbook and this very lovely patch. And like it's all, like the whole thing is very interestingly designed. They give you the hashtag in the bottom to like share with, <laughs> hashtag wrangling bound. This is a poster they gave that just says, Yee yee ringling. And then on the other side, it has that damn hashtag on the back. Dear Karen, congratulations. It is my pleasure to inform you that you have been accepted to the computer animation program at Ringling College of Art and Design for the fall semester of 2021. After a careful review of what you have told us about yourself in your application, what others have told us about you, and the creative potential that you demonstrate, we are confident that you and Ringling are a good match. It will be an honor to work with you over the course of your education and share in your success afterwards. We look forward to welcoming you as a Ringling student. It's a very lovely letter, very lovely packaging, obviously. The student design is a nice touch and it's all a fun experience. Also, I didn't even share because I've been using it because I wanted to flex on all of my peers and be like, haha, fuck you, I, I'm getting an education. Um, uh, they got, they have a lanyard and it says Ringling College. It's got the same kind of design that matches the packaging. It's slightly different blue, but it is so lovely. This is a huge honor. And I know there are so many people who would give the world to be in my shoes. It's such a prestigious thing and a high honor, which it absolutely is. But it's also like the opportunity of just getting to go to work. Basically to summarize, I am at a crossroads between these two potential paths that are going to lead me to drastically different places in my life. And what happened was, after basically not being in contact with the studio who I was potentially interning at for two months, they just so happened to be coming back and filming a video at my school the day after I got my acceptance letter and I didn't even know they were gonna be there. One moment I'm walking through the halls with my Wrigling College lanyard being like, hell yeah bitches, I'm going to art school. And then the next moment I'm sitting in my superintendent's office eating mini peppers with cream cheese spread on them with this independent film crew and discussing potential internship opportunities over the summer. What is my life, man? What the fuck? Randomly out of the blue, the day after I get my acceptance letter to Ringling, they're just there at my school? What the hell? I could go and get the internship and potentially get so ahead of my life, you know, get money, get a job, get to work with cool people, and who knows where I'll go or I could go to Ringling and make connections in a whole nother state. And I'm just so torn up inside because it feels like I'm losing something either way. I'm losing out on the potential to get ahead in my life, to have more personal freedom, to have more money, more time, and to work with these people who, frankly, I really think are cool and I really wanna be on their team, but if I don't go to Ringling, then I risk not being fulfilled. I risk not tapping into this passion that regardless of whether or not I've been consistent with it, I've had in my heart since I was a child. You know, I saw Finding Nemo when I was literally like seven and I just stuck my hands on the glass of that fucking tube TV. And I said, this is it. You know, this is everything. But I have a month to decide. I'm really thankful for this opportunity. Like I'm in a dilemma, but it's a good dilemma. I'm being forced to choose between these two very different, but very good options. And I don't want this video to come off as braggy. I know there are so many people out there who really wanted to go to this school and it was their passion and they didn't get good news back. And that is a really shitty situation. 
For all of the people who really wanted to get in but didn't, oh my god, please apply again. Please do your thing. Like, you so deserve it. You shouldn't let one rejection define you. You shouldn't let one hard time or one shitty situation define your whole life. But listen to me, look me in the eyes. You deserve to make the opportunities for yourself that are gonna bring you value that you want. Like, it's as simple as that, bro. But anyway, that was my acceptance letter unboxing whole situation, disastrously long video. I just want to say also that I love you and you're a good person. <laughs> That's all.